What is up, Fresh Flash Anime here, bringing you another review for Day Alive, episode 5. But I'm not doing a double episode this time, which is good, so I didn't feel like doing that again. But anyway, jump right into the episode. It follows Toka, kind of angry, still at, at shit of what he did last week. And she's kind of confused, she doesn't understand how, how it works like this. But one of Katori's group, the, the scientist girl, talks to her and explains to her, hey, this is... There's a misunderstanding, let it, don't let it ruin everything you've got with your, you know, future friend. And, uh, yeah, that was, it was kind of interesting seeing that, that her to learn more about, I guess, human life, human stuff like that, emotions, things like that, so. But the main episode follows Shido helping the new bunny girl, and her name is, uh, y Yoshino, and she's kind of quiet. He learned a little bit more about her this week, so she actually does talk. A little bit more than she did the first time you were in her. And they talk for a bit. He offers to help find her missing uh, puppet that she lost last time. And in doing so, he, you know, helps her for a bit. And he hears her stomach kind of get rum rumble. So he offers to feed her. And he does. Takes her back to his place. And of course, while they're doing talking together, he explains to the little girl that he didn't mean to kiss her. And things like this. And they're like inches apart. Like, so close about the kiss again, and Toka walks in. She's kind of still pissed off and angry that he's still doing what he's doing with this little kid, not realizing he's just being friendly, he's not doing anything bad. But that's what that is, whatever. And of course, when she sees Toka, uh, Yoshino kind of teleports away. She, she runs off because she's kind of scared of the other girl right now. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> And I guess Shido, or yeah, Shido kind of tells her that, tells Toka that he's going to help the little girl out no matter what happens. And so by helping so, he's going to help find the puppet. And he does run off. He gets a hint from Katara, his sister, that a uh, little white-haired girl, Toby, might have the puppet. And he does ride at her house. But doing so, he gets to their house and he opens, knocks on the door and she, Toby shows up wearing this maid outfit, and she makes him this tea, but the tea is very bad, it's like toxic. <laughs> so he drinks it, falls over, she jumps on him and uh, tries to get him excited, I guess. <laughs> it's, it's very funny, watching her face, is like, you know, look, look down and I'm like, you're mine, I'll make you mine. So that was pretty funny. And she gets up and walks off to the shower, which I was just taking that as, maybe she wants him to walk in on her. But the typical anime thing, but they don't do that, which is really nice. I was like, oh, here we go. But you know, we cut to that. He does find the puppet at her house. He takes it and it leaves her house. And in the meantime, I think they had a. Oh well, back to Toby. I forgot. She wants him to call her by her real name, or, or I guess Origami is her real name, her first name. And because she's jealous of Toku, because. He says her first thing, which is kind of silly. And that's the kind of reason why she jumped on him, I guess. <laughs> I thought that was weird. And after that, we have um, Yoshinon. She's kind of. She explains earlier on in the episode that the puppet she has is named. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know what puppet, puppet's got a weird name. It's like Yoshinon or something like that. Same, almost similar names hers. But anyway, they. Then they kind of just hint towards that she likes the puppet because it's a hero to her. She wants to be just like it. Which is kind of silly because technically we're the same person. But I know it's gimmicky for the character to have that kind of trait, I guess. But then we jump to her little rabbit that she summoned last week. That ice rabbit that's it's going berserk and it's basically Yoshin on, Yoshino on sorry, escaping the city trying to leave. but. Of course, the mech girls, they arrive and start shooting the place up, but the rabbit uses their ice power and it freezes the basically the block of the, the town. And as she's back, got a barrier, so they can't get in, they can't fight her, so it's kind of interesting. And then Yoshino, or Cheeto, sorry, is trying to, I guess, save her, but he can't do it on his own, and Toka eventually arrives, he kind of convinces her to help, he tells her that. That little girl that doesn't mean doesn't mean nothing to me. She I just want to help her. You know, she's in danger. She's just like you, a spirit. And Toka kinda like 
agrees to help him, and she causes distraction, and the, the Met girls kind of chase her. Because they can't get to the, the rabbit girl, so they, they kind of switch to the to Toka instead. And then they show, like, Shido kind of holding the puppet. He's just going to run into the blizzard and uh, save the little girl. But he gets a warning from his sister that, don't do it, you're going to get hurt. And she mentioned something about spirit healing. And that to me was kind of weird. It tells me that maybe Shido's not really human. I think he's from another world. But, you know, he runs through the blizzard, gets hurt a little bit, but he finds, uh, y y yeah, Yoshino. And he kind of heals up, which was kind of weird. And to calm the little girl down, the only way to do it is to obviously give her a kiss because her power is going, going crazy. So he kisses her and the power kind of stops. And that's kind of where the episode quickly ends. And they show like a new new ending video, a new song, followed by like the true ending, which is uh, Yosh Yoshino kind of like wearing re regular clothes, and they mention that uh, Toka is living in an apartment now that's next door to his to, to the main guy's house because that guy's living with him is kind of putting a burden on her because yeah it's crazy. So we got the little girl, she's, I guess she's going to live in the apartment too as well, and that's where the episode ends. But I'm interested in Shido, what, what, he, what he really is. I don't think he's human, obviously. I mean, he got, he got shot in the last episode, episode 4, and this time he gets like stabbed and all that crap. This, this is weird. But for, I guess, for random stuff for this episode, maybe Atoka kind of appearing with her half school, half armor outfit. It was kind of, kind of weird looking. And uh, Shido surfing on this golden blade. It was kind of funny. Oh, uh, I guess that was a, uh, okay, like I guess a transport thing. <laughs> it's kind of silly. Again, yeah. But that's my episode review for episode five. I'll see you guys for episode six, and catch you later.